Welcome back everybody, this is Beethoven back in the 7 with some more delays. In the last part we finished Rock, Vapor and Slithers and now we are going to take on Infinite Storage which seems to be a giant reference to Indiana Jones, the level, so... Yeah, no, I'm not talking about Indiana Jones the level. There's no level called Indiana Jones, at least it's not as far as I can think of. Manufacturer warning. Unstable time tokens. Time clones will delay a move in sequence if stunned. Last placed is first to move. Keep contents above freezing. Oh, why is this a thing? Oh my god. I want to see the scroll. Okay, I'm guessing like... But, ah, oh, time token manipulation, why would you do this? <laughs> Challenge, don't use this token. I'm probably gonna ignore that. Okay, so these are giant crates of monster lacking puzzles. Of course, involves shipping and handling. Oh, never mind, here's some monsters. Just had to jinx it, didn't I? Okay, so it's potions the level. You may want to lock the room to prevent yourself from leaving accidentally. Use the shift key by default. I'm looking for a time key, not a shift key. Whatever that is. <laughs> B3, you know what he means. Alright, so the star stuff. Of course there is. Hey, lemmings! Now that's not a thing that I believe I've seen in the videos before. So, should I start with this one? Okay, challenge. Only use four potions. Okay, so... The point of all this will be to get the lemmings around the... Well, I, yeah, I need to get them here on these plates, but... Hmm. Okay, yeah, so that's the way I'm gonna set up these potions, me, me, I need to get the lemmings into each of these little areas. Now, does anything close these? No. That's... that's bad. Okay, so... Alright, so... These move counterclockwise. No, they move clockwise. So, a lemming will try to move downwards, then hit something, move to the left, then up, then right, and then down. As such. So, from here, I need to get this guy to go... Okay. Okay, the first plate... Okay, yeah, I need to get him to the left. Then I get need to get this one down, and then I need to get this one right. Okay, so... And then this will open the way out, and I can leave. Right? In that case... Hmm. Let us see... Right, so... Get this guy here. For that, it needs to move down, so... Probably one of these tiles will have a decoy on it, so... Okay, I can already imagine two decoys that it could hit. But now I need to also have a way of getting these guy, uh, this guy down, and then getting another guy to right. Which means that, do I need to have uh, a, a decoy around to stop, like the lemming or something? Anyway, here's how I'm gonna get the first one to do anything for me. This should do the trick. It gets the first one, but then it's only going to ever go that way and it's gonna die. So... Okay, I guess I need to have like... Other things set up afterwards so that I can get this guy to go here. 
And this is supposed to be possible with only four potions. Supposedly. Quote unquote. Of course, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do those challenges. The answer is probably not, because this hold is already seeming a bit ahead of my level of intelligence. But anyway, um... Let's see, okay, so... Alright, so I'm just gonna go there, and then when I go back... Okay, it's gonna move down. What I want is to, for it to go to the right here, so... Oh, I can toggle the sword! Ah! Now that is actually really interesting. I didn't even notice I could do that. That seems like it's gonna be super useful then. Okay. Alright, so first decoy, I'm gonna put it there. And this one, I'm gonna just put it here. But yeah, this is actually going to be pretty useful in capturing the uh, lemmings. Yeah, actually I'm going to have one Get the sword. Oh, I know. Face here. I have to do with a sword standing here. This will capture the lemming and a guy here. Actually, what's happening here? Wait, no, that's having no. Okay, I need to put the sword where I'd want it to toggle. If it goes in there, though, it's gonna get stuck, isn't it? Hmm. Wait a minute. I could have alternate uh, alternate trajectories. So like with this guy with a sword. Then okay. Then he's gonna go up here and there and there and then. Decoy here. A decoy there. That would get uh, this one over here. Now, in the meantime, I can just uh, do this. Alternatively, what if I put that first one one tile higher? In fact, that would make for a good obstacle to bring it down that way. As well. Then I can actually put this over here. Mimic here. Was it another way it was facing? I forget. No, it was there, yeah. Then one here. Does that actually pull off the challenge? Let's find out. Oh crud. I didn't position it right. No, that's that's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, okay. Right. Well, the point is standing still. Let's have a guy here. But you want to have it here, in fact. No, I know. Let's have it there. That way I can have him go down and then here and then it's gonna... I could have him... Let's see. No. Oh wait, no, I could have it just that way. Like... Gonna go here, then hit the sword, hit the... No, the two needs to be in one tile south. Yes, it does. Yes, yes, yes. No, he needs to be facing that way. Okay, so... 
<laughs> gonna go that way, then hit this in here. Boom. Okay, then the other one goes this way. Boof, boof. He's just gonna go back, then he goes here and there, and then he just, just does something, and something will probably block it there, actually. Something needs to be there to uh, prevent stuff happening. Now there's gonna be a dude here. So you can do whatever, I don't care about him. Yeah, I know the challenge says only use a few, but I wanna see if this works. Boom. Next one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, that, that aimed it wrong. Oh, um. Well, you didn't push up. Oh my god. You're, you're, you're an awful person, me. Put that here. I guess this dude's gonna go here. Another guy, I guess, will have to go here. Dude goes here, and then boom. Okay, checkpoint. Boom. Hmm. Wait, this just blew up the other. What? That's horrible. Why would you do that? Hold on, I know. I know what needs to be done here. Turn me to that checkpoint. Get some out of the range of the explosion. Yeah, because with the door down, it's gonna explode right in the mimic's face, right? Although it seemed it wouldn't, but you know. My assumptions are always wrong, so what do I know? But this seems to work. As far as I'm concerned, this is working. This is very, very working. So yeah, lemmings, yeah, you probably already know this by now, but all they do is just spin around like a bunch of weirdos. So this one doesn't need any help. And I can stab him. He's dead. Now, how can I do this solution with only four decoys? I'd like to see if I can do that challenge. Honestly, that'd be interesting. Okay, so... Because now the issue is getting this guy here with few moves. could do this, like a little system that keeps them entrapped. Of course it goes against the direction it's supposed to go, but you know, whatever. These two here. For this one, doop, 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 doop. so it needs to come in this way. So I'm gonna be only coming in that way. So like, 
in the mimic that blocks out the top here or the bottom and here. This is complicated. I need to find places where I can make as many common moves for the greater good and all that. Okay, like these two tiles, that, that's a good place to start. Let's see any other way to, then to put this guy here. I see someone's gonna have to go here. Like, I need a way to get this guy to go here, like this. The answer is... wait, isn't the answer kind of obvious? <sighs> yes, it is! Boosh! And then I can have a guy... Here? Or somewhere, I don't know, like... And bounce up and then down and boo. Like here, for example. Or there. Actually, yeah. There. Or here. Yeah, this is actually exactly what I want. Okay, so. So now I'll do it here. With any obvious guy who bounces off. Okay, let's see if this works. I mean sword, remove sword, add sword, boom. Second dude, go down. Okay, so Boom. And that's bad because the guy just blew up. And that's the issue. The bomb explosion here just gets the right spot to make things annoying. I thought I had something, but I don't. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's put this guy back where he was. That, that spot was good. I guess. Yeah, the fact that this guy is here is, is just really what bugs me. Okay, everything else is good. Everything else is perfect. This dude here. This dude there. Now, okay. The question of how to make it bounce off this tile. I do also need to have something to make it bounce off. So, like... That's where the issues come in, isn't it? Place it on a hot tile because that's going to destroy it. Wait, 
Wait a minute. What if I... Hmm, no. Well, maybe I could, like, capture the... No. I... Something needs to step onto this tile. I know that. That needs to happen, so... Hmm... Let me see with my eyes full of sight. Hmm. Yeah, that, that definitely happens if I do that. I don't see any. I don't see any way to make this possible. At least not this current solution. But it seems like the most efficient one. You know. You know what I'm getting at. Like other solutions just seem a bit. So, okay, actually, let me revise my strategy, go back to this old one. So, net or guard. We can have... No, the problem is I need something to make it bounce off here, so... Like, this works fine. Hmm. I... I'm not sure what to do here. Like, I can have it bounce around, but then I needed to come in from here. I know that. So, like, yeah, as I said, having a dude down there was really just the best strategy uh, to do this. Because bounces off here and then goes here and boom. Boom. You know? Boom. But to get him to bounce on his sword, I need something to be in here. But then that means I need to have someone else handle the shipping of the lemming to this area. So now it's like... And this takes care of like half of them, but now I need to take care of the other half. Well, I mean two thirds, not half. There's only there's no way to make halves out of these unless I cut up one and a half. But then it just blow up, so you know, like. Hmm. This means that. Okay, I am honestly stumped here. Like, setting that decoy... Like, you know, the decoy that... Having it facing this tile, that seems like the best option. But then that gets blown up. I swear, it's like he planned this to happen. <laughs> that little clever jerk. Then I can't get anything else in. I am not sure this is possible at all. Oh. Yeah, okay, well that's how I would get it to do that, but... That's not what I want it to do. I mean, it's nice to keep that in mind, though. But... No. And then it blows up! You jerk, how could you? 
How could you do this to me, man? <laughs> ah. I thought we were friends. You traitor. Wouldn't the arrow affect the explosion now? Man, I guess not. No, if the arrow was there, it would affect the explosion. Okay, uh... Well, in that case, I... Guess I'll come back to that later. Because I don't think I am going to be able to solve this like that. At least not in my current range of skills. See, this works. That does work. But I don't know how to do the challenge. I, I, I'm sorry, I just can't. I don't know how. <sighs> anyway, this level looks like it's gonna be pretty painful. <laughs> Alright, this has been Beastie Bucking the 7 with delays. And next time, more infinite storage. I'll see you in the next part. Until then, have a nice one.